This is Michael Kaplan from the New York Post. I have a story in the paper about billions of dollars buried under the sea, and it's yours. Just go get a scuba suit and go dig it up. Good luck. There's an estimated $32 billion under the sea in various boats. For instance, there's a boat called the Fleur de Mar, and there was a guy who actually was ready to go there and get the booty off of it. You know, he figured out where it was, had a lot of information, but the Indonesian government wanted its take. You know, they wanted its piece of the boat. And as he put it, when you make oyster stew, suddenly you've got a lot of hungry friends. It wound up not being viable because they kept wanting more and more of the cut. So then there's the RMS Republic. That's a pretty interesting boat because it was owned by the same company that owned the Titanic. People think, oh, go, go get stuff off the Titanic. The problem is it has no gold on it because the gold went from America to Europe, not from Europe to America. This boat got 45 tons of gold, $800,000 in Navy pay, and a bunch of money that was going for these Russian bonds. So if you find that, you're going to be in pretty good 